7.25. Violet's been gone almost two hours. I just finished making dinner for myself, showing you the empty house and the empty place where she used to sit. And here's my salad bowl. I noticed that tonight I didn't really put myself out there making the dressing and things that I normally would do. When I used to make it for both of us. Heck, I even forgot to put silverware down the table. We normally each had our own little task. I would prepare the uh, grains I'm trying to find. Where the forks are. This was her uh, her task. She would put the forks in our napkin. Uh, we don't use paper towels. We uh, no longer wait. I don't use paper towels. I uh, use cotton. The, one of these things that rewashable, trying to stay as green as possible. Anyway, um, I knew at first it was going to be awkward. I feel peace in my heart and I feel peace in the home. Um, but kid you not, it's lonely. But I will get over this, I'm sure. That old saying, this too shall pass. It's a habit, you know. Habits are hard to break. Being together for nine years, eating together, sleeping together. Although in the past, since we moved here to our to this new home, uh, I started sleeping in a hammock because of the pain in my shoulder. Um, but nonetheless, still in the same room, still the good nights, still the conversation while having food, uh, papaya, avocado, sprouts. Spring mix, arugula, shredded cabbage with vinegar, which is I'm using for the salad dressing tonight because I didn't feel like making one, and some jalapeno. Uh, feels awkward staring at the empty space where she usually used to sit. Anyway, as promised, the vlogging begins. How I feel right now, I'm pretty numb still. It hasn't hit me. Again, I know this is the best thing we could have both have done for each other. Uh, sent her away. Her uh, sister-in-law came to pick her up. And she's going to be spending some time with her brother tonight. And we'll send her off the airport tomorrow. Um, first night alone in nine years. Prior to that, I was in another relationship for six. So I haven't been alone for a long, long time. So, uh, needless to say, it's going to be challenging at first. I'm sure that I will enjoy this very much. But for now, the grieving has begun. It is a normal state. So, guys, stay tuned. I will uh, do a little more recording later, speaking about my uh, feelings and maybe tonight in the hammock. But for now, I need to shut the camera and enjoy my salad. Well, finished dinner, cleaned up, which was usually her shore. She cleaned up. I never really wanted me to have a clean up. We, uh, she doesn't know how to play in the box with others and likes to take control, so uh, she wanted to always do the clean up, and after some disagreement and argument, I give up and just allowed it to be so like a lot of things that I allowed to be so the years we've been together very very empty house let's go into this dark empty bedroom and uh this was her so I could put some more light made it better this was her hammock Her sink, which is no longer hers, is uh, not just an empty sink, and the bathroom. I've got to fix uh, the closet up tomorrow. Uh, this used to be her side. 
And this is my side, so now I'll spread my clothes. Her empty drawers. I'll spread my stuff, and I've kind of like already spread my shoes out in some sort of weird fashion. <laughs> It's uh, it's different. Again, uh, haven't been living alone in a very long, long time. So uh, this is gonna have to take some getting used to. I turned off the light. Hopefully, this is uh, enough light here. Her uh, empty chair. I don't think you guys could see that, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, a lot of emptiness, but I didn't expect it to be any any different. Sure, as the days progress and I get involved in my daily chores and uh, life moves on, we will both get over this and realize it was for the best. She's heading. New Jersey tomorrow and she'll be with family living with people while I stay alone in this empty house but I'm going to make this house not empty and fill it up with my energy my love my way of being which is something I've longed for for a very long time Tonight will be the first night I sleep by myself. And um, that's all right. It's all right. Learning to love one's own company is a very important thing. Learning to be self reliant is a very important thing. To tell you the truth, tonight making dinner was a little struggle because I had to do my part her part and all the parts together so I'm definitely going to be simplifying things because I don't want to take you know half an hour to prepare our meals when usually it would take less because there's two people doing things so I'm going to start eating a little bit more prehistorically instead of chopping up a little papaya I'm just going to cut the papaya in half and dig in with the spoon you know and um, eat the greens you know just like caveman's would I guess um, we'll see. I'll play everything by ear. Anyhow, this is life. Another chapter. And I'm looking forward to what lies ahead. I wish you well. Pilot, if you're watching this, remember, I will always love you. You'll always have a friend in me. I pray that all that I've taught you through the years will help you evolve and grow. Daddy's little girl had to be set free. Daddy will always love you.